I um, come from abstract painting and I was always interested to open this up um, and through using materials from the city, sometimes also from the nature, I can um, break this abstract language up or open it to our like daily life and uh, things that we see in the city and that we can connect to. The material I think is kind of my artistic language which speaks for itself but also leads to associations or gives us connections to the society or things we are surrounded by in our daily life. I use with materials that I was already fascinated by when I was a child. My parents tried to educate me in a more tasteful way, but I was always interested in the other side <laughs> and I kind of kept this. So I started to work with colors that I hated the most. I found it interesting to see it on canvas, to experience more than if you just say, oh, what are my favorite colors and, and use them, then maybe you end up still there where you have been before. And I think it's interesting to go much more far out and maybe then you learn also more about yourself. And maybe there's a reason why I hate these colors. <laughs> Those colors that I chose in the beginning are still part of my work or main part of my work. And now are my favorite colors, so it can change yourself as well. <laughs> the basic idea for the show was to place the new stainless steel sculptures in the center of the space and the paintings around it like church windows. The sculptures are both very massive and stainless steel but also kind of nearly disappearing or virtual through this mirroring material. I show new foil paintings which are um, combined with neon tubes and at the same time I'm showing new paintings and the first photo works I did. When I work with the neons, I work with them as a three-dimensional abstract drawing and the direct symbols that you can immediately connect with. What interests me most in art is the energy that I can find in some artworks. I think the aspect of fun can be part of it, to make it fun and to, to give it joy. And for me, the strongest ideas are the most simple ideas in art. Thank you.